All right, good afternoon. Welcome to another installment of the Barbell Saves Project Nutrition Series. We have here reporting with your Thanksgiving meal, making proper choices around the Thanksgiving table, and the Thanksgiving turmoil that a lot of us face. Whether or not to get those extra rolls or take that nap, we're going to talk in a little bit of series the best way to make mindful and appropriate decisions during this time within the next week here. So we're, we're here recording Monday, November 21st. We got Thanksgiving right around the corner, November 24th. So let's see if we can get you some tips and tricks to make Thanksgiving tantalizing. All right, so if you see my board right over here, we're just gonna go over it into a few uh, approaches to make sure that our plate is brimming with good choices. So I have uh, a T-chart here and I have them separated into two separate categories. We have our quality, the portions that we want to increase, and then we have our quantity, the portions that we want to decrease. So when we're looking at anything, a 50-50 perspective, we want to make sure that we have mostly filled with quality portions. And then if we want to imbibe and we want to, you know, um, get a little little juicy into the quantity, we just want to make sure to decrease those portions. So let's talk first and foremost, let's go over turkey. Turkey is going to be the mainstay, it's going to be your main staple on your Thanksgiving meal. A lot of people actually have put turkey in a, uh, have a bad rap with turkey or put turkey in the um, dunce corner for the tryptophan. And notice how I put that in quotation marks because Actually, turkey is very rich in DHA, omega-3 acids, the same you're going to find in like fishes, the same you're going to find in like flax seeds, the same you're going to find in like your really healthy oils. And those have been shown to uh, boost brain function, improve your mood, and it's a really, really good lean quality protein. Where turkey gets a bad rap is in the tryptophan. Everyone says, oh, I don't want to have, you know, the pilot doesn't want to have the turkey breakfast burrito before flying. Uh, you don't want to have a turkey sandwich for lunch. That is absolutely false. Um, it couldn't be further from the truth. What's really going to make you tired during that Thanksgiving day and that Thanksgiving plate? Stuffing, glazed carrots, all the sugars, all the additional fats, butters, everything, the three helpings. Then you're going to put yourself in a coma, food coma, and you're not going to want to move. You're going to want to sit there watching football, and your Thanksgiving is just going to be a draw. If that's what you enjoy, that's what you enjoy. Let's go over the quality portions here on the, on the list here. So we have cranberry, we have the real stuff, loaded with antioxidants, loaded with flavonoids, loaded with really healthy natural sugars in your fructose. You wanna, you wanna, um, you wanna increase those por uh, pro uh, portions. You wanna load up on those. We have your green beans. Notice how I say without topping. So that's without the deep fried onions, that's without like all the buttery stuff, all the uh, wheat-based stuff that goes on top of there. So just green beans alone, a really, really good, uh, healthy vegetable to have any day of the week and especially on Thanksgiving. We have our carrots. We are really good for beta carotene. They're known as the high side vegetable. We have our sweet potatoes. Excellent source of magnesium, excellent source of manganese, excellent source of potassium, and a great, great source of vitamin C. So if we're coming into the holiday and we're experiencing maybe the uh, flu during the winter months where you're more likely to be indoors, not in Arizona, uh, you have a chance to really want to increase that vitamin C intake. Oranges are very popular, but sweet potatoes are actually very popular as well. And mashed potatoes. Uh, I have these uh, underneath sweet potatoes because mashed potatoes get a bad rap. However, potatoes are actually a really good source of everything that I mentioned above, including the vitamin C, A, D, E, and K. But you just want to be wary of the butter and the saturated fat that's thrown in there. Saturated fat from your cheeses, the unsaturated fat from your butters, monosaturated. Uh, so just be, be wary of what you put on there. Last but not least, you might be surprised to find out that I put pumpkin pie on the quality list. If we're talking about between pecan pie and between pumpkin pie, go for the pumpkin pie. 
It's got beta carotene. It's going to help with those eye, that eyesight like the carrots were. <clears throat> but then also, uh, for my gentleman out there, it does actually assist with prostate cancer. And it is a great source of carbohydrate. It is a good source of fuel. And honestly, pumpkin just to keep around, not even in pie form, is a really good, really good option for that. All right, let's weasel on over. Let's um, tune our minds and eyes to this side of the... Um, the decreased quantity portion here. And we'll go over real quick. Um, we're kind of, we got a duality here. We got a yin and a yang. We got the yin on this side and the yang on this side. So we want to play, we want to play devil's advocate here. So everything we talked about on the, um, let's see, my left side here facing the camera is going to be the right side here on this. So quantity. So with that, so when we're building that plate, we want to build first with all of these quality ingredients that we have on this side. Chances are, if we build a plate with turkey, cranberry, green beans, carrots, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, and last but not least, that pumpkin pie, we're not going to have a chance for anything else. But if you're going for that second plate, that third plate, let's keep these to a minimum right here. That's going to be your stuffing. I know that stuffing wasn't mentioned over here in the quality uh, ingredients list. However, we have stuffing here. This is a staple of Thanksgiving. We just want to decrease that. If we can maybe uh, pair that or replace that with our green bean casserole, we'd be better off. But I know stuffing is a staple around the Thanksgiving holiday, so just decrease that portion. What we're looking for there is the butter and then the sodium that goes in with, uh, with that. Um, especially if you're getting box stuffing, not making it homemade, you really, really increase that chance for that sodium. Cranberry, the fake stuff. High fructose corn syrup in un unlarming amounts. You have your sugar, you have your high fructose corn syrup, you have any kind of other additions and additives that are thrown in there. So you really just want to stick away. If you if you get the canned stuff, just run. Run for the hills, go for the real stuff, pick it off real trees, real food. That's what we're looking for here. Green bean casserole. Again, the green beans just without the toppings, the deep fried onions, just want to stay away. Carrots, you'll notice this is says, although I only have carrots on this side, the reason these are thrown in the, the decreasing of the quantity list, we have the glaze on there, the butter, the brown sugar, the salt. You really want to just keep whole, anytime you can keep it to one single ingredient in a carrot, that's what we're looking for. Sweet potato casserole, the only, the only thing right here is the caveat is that casserole. Generally when you have that casserole, it's loaded with butter, loaded with sugar, and you got the marshmallows on top. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's delicious, just decrease that quantity. Cornbread, you can absolutely have your cornbread, just be wary of the butter that's thrown in there and any, any addition, additional saturated fats, as well as any additional cornmeal. Corn, uh, although not the maize that the Indians used to eat, is very, very high processed GMO. So just try to stay away from that cornbread if you can. Again, little slice, you, you, won't, you, won't, you won't harm yourself. Last but not least, we're going into dessert, coming in the end here, pecan pie. Between the two, like I mentioned earlier, pumpkin pie is going to be a better source. But if you have to imbibe the pumpkin pie, just take a little slice and sliver. It's just going to be a really high fat content due to the nuts. I know you want to say, Daniel, nuts are very good for you in small quantities. However, when we've already had all the fats from all of our butters, all of our uh, food on our other plate, even in the great, wonderful quantities it is, it still increases your calories. So we just want to lower that, that uh, pecan pie due to the high, high, high fat content. Any questions, let us know. We'll be on the YouTube video. We'll hopefully be able to answer some questions for you. You can always holler at me, particularly. You'll see me here in the gym, wandering around, throwing one-liners, high fives, smiles, and all the above. We'll see you at the Thanksgiving dinner. Have a wonderful, wonderful time with your family, and we'll see you back in the barbell saves very soon.